Hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the Syracuse Orange and the Duke Blue Devils. Number three is one of the most talented players in the game of basketball right now at the collegiate level. This kid will punish your team by dribbling through your defense, then making the right pass once the defenders have committed. The Blue Devils will clearly rely on him to make contributions on both ends of the floor. The Blue Devils should be able to run away with this one, Dick Vitale. Hey, what are the keys for them doing so? The keys are pretty simple, Brad. First, set good interior screens to free up your big men on the block. Look to the inside first. Second of all, beware of turnovers. Protect the basketball. You want to minimize the amount of free possessions that you give to the opposition. Thirdly, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. The Orange will step to the line for the first time. Need to make that. The point guard takes the feed. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. He grabs the rebound. Now they work it around the perimeter. The small forward gets the pass. Arnold was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. That's basic. The power forward takes the pass. The defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. For the bucket, he hits the shot. My goodness, Mr. Nelson, that was phenomenal, baby. movement get that good spacing gave it up shoots from outside and he lured the defender to the screen giving him time to shoot the sweet jay keeps the dribble as they set it up again the shooting guard with the ball that was nice That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. The center gets the ball. And in and out. Tries for two, and he missed. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Erickson takes the shot. For two, Syracuse are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. On the outside. Trying to feed inside. He shoots from the top of the circle. Ivy is getting it done for his team right now. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. Three-point territory. He drains the bucket. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Scorches the net. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Dumps it in for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking for a good shot. He wants a three. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. 
Working it around the perimeter. They look to get it to the inside. Here's a double team. It's stolen. Now looking to move it down court in a hurry. Tries for two. He buries it. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. And the ball goes out of play. With a little baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA, Aaron Andrews, checking in from the sideline. Perfectly executed. Smith is eager and excited to compete. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. There he is, strips the ball loose. This defender is resilient, still applying pressure. He shoots from the top of the key. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He knocks down another bucket, Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. They've left him completely alone. The Orange have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Goes up for two. The Blue Devils have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Get that sucker out of the game, man. From tight defense, he goes for the aggressive steal attempt. In addition to the pressure defense, they go for some aggressive steals as well. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Cameron Indoor Stadium is going wild. three-point land. The Blue Devils have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That is on fire. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. The ball goes out of bounds. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. Basket falls despite the contact. Trying to go inside. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Dick, how's he? 
I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. They're working around the perimeter, trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Stolen away. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Sinks the shot. He shoots from the top of the circle, trying to draw some contact. Wait a minute, let's replay that one. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Here we go on the break. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. the dribble gives it up for two and off the mark he throws it up from downtown perfectly designed perfectly executed easy basket I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting it well it's the key is to really beat him to the spot get help from the help side and really do a great job seeing ball and man He pump fakes. Goes up for two. And he missed. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> he puts up the three ball. Dick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the yard. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. Both teams are looking to get something going here. A little frustration right there. Gave it up. He does the sweet fake shot. For the bucket. Syracuse have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. Kicks it out. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Let's get back out on the floor. There's a high screen. He takes it away. Fast break opportunity here. Tries for two. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. He shoots from downtown. Knocks it down. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Brad, before the game, the coaching staff told me they worried this situation could happen. They told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not rely on one player. Right now, the coaches are trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page, guys. Thanks, Erin. He 
He shoots from the top of the key. The shot's off target. Turns it over. For two. Gets it to go. And the fans here are loving the action. The mayhem is off the charts, Brad. Cameron Indoor Stadium is going wild. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I took a chance, and he lost, baby. Strip red. Goes up for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Entry pass in the paint. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Can't get the shot to drop. Up and inside. Those long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Oh, Mr. Nestle, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of him. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Misses the first. Have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. There's a double team waiting there. Way out on top, controlling the ball. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Trying to draw the foul. Good fake. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Arte just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. On the dribble, gives it up. He's got a high post flasher. He's got a nice shot fake. The ball goes out of play. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crap. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Can't get the shot to go. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Way off target. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Moving around the perimeter from three-point land. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. <laughs> Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Syracuse are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. <laughs> now they work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Meeks draws the personal. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing, that leads you to the exit sign. No question, you get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> Ziggy, I love that. He sinks them both.
runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Pushing that basketball. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. The Orange have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He takes a three. Got it. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Working it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Steals the ball. Here they go into the break. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. That's incredible. The Blue Devils will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Kick inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. He shoots from outside. The Blue Devils have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Nice high post screen. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Opportunity for two for one. With a deep shot from outside. These boys are tearing it up behind the arc right now, Dick. They've got them at their mercy with the threes, Brad. I think they're trying to make a statement. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. In the paint. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. On the outside, shots there if he wants it. He shoots from long range. The Blue Devils have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. At 
the half. The Blue Devils lead by six. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Duke is showing tremendous accuracy from the floor in the first half, partner. They're so well coached, man. Working the ball around for the high percentage shot. That's a lot of maturity, man. They really are a mature basketball team. Our focus player update, Dick Vitale, going into the second half. What does he need to do, you think? I think we ought to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. Gave it up. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The Blue Devils have got to continue to get him the ball. That is on fire. There's the pick. There's the roll. The Orange have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Orange are behind by seven. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. Kicks it out. There's the trap. Pull-up jumper from way out. You betcha. Nice fake. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, you're kidding me. That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Arnold was a highly touted recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. Watch out, five second call approaching. Obvious foul. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Goes up for two. And in and out. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Stolen. Defense got it after knocking it loose. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. With the fake. Fakes it. With a little baby hook. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. The ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved.
Kicked off. On the dribble, gives it up. Fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position. So he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. The fake. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle. He buries the shot. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Well, Dick, you said it many times before. The crowd is quite capable of being that X factor, and they have been that and so much more. Looking for contact. Syracuse have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. They work it around the perimeter. There they come with a double team to stop it. Is this defense ever quick to recover? It's called conditioning, Brad. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Kicks off the lazy pass. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Whistle blown, basket's good, and one. That's concentration, baby. Look out, he's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. Routine. That's a 7 nothing run. Nick, they're really going to have to monitor this because they've hit the bottom mentally. They're really going to be in some big, big trouble. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Puts it on the floor and up and under. And he missed. Momentary look from three-point land. Looking for a good shot. The Blue Devils have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Granny's on fire. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. They move it into the front court. Gave it up. Double team now. Bad angle. Ten on the shot clock. Robs him of the ball. They'll work it around the arc. Goes up for two. And off the mark. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets the bucket to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. for three. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Gave it up. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. 
The orange of a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Look at speed. I'll tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. And the ball goes out of bounds. Here's a flash from the high post. Violation, three seconds. Stand up in a lane like that. Great anticipation defensively. He shoots from the angle. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. The Blue Devils have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. Simple. it inside and he tries a drop step defensively nice job a uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot they get the ball down low and he hips up with his man and down he goes hey brad that's a flop that's mr flop right there don't call that baby that one puts the personal in personal picks up the foul i tell you poor play defensively and look at the facial expression Great defensive play, anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Picked out of the air. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section there. He makes the block. The double team. He goes with a jump hook. I'll tell you, great shot. And I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. He intercepts it. On the dribble, gives it up. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They work the perimeter. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Ten on the shot clock. Way off target. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Off the rim and no good. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Dump it inside. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Gave it up. Intercepted. For two. Perfectly executed. I need to see that again, Brad. Strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dude. He's out of control, baby. Out of control. That was a great 
great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Now the high screen. Goes up for two. The Blue Devils are behind by 11. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. He's doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He'll visit the charity strike. He makes it. Makes those free throws come. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. We didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. the dribble gives it up here's a drop step in the low block very key is to get good close position and he does and then he drops the step oh, oh, oh. I tell you he missed the post guy the post guy had the great angle was locking on the box and that's basic working it around the perimeter Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Cameron Indoor Stadium is going wild. He takes the shot from the baseline. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Picks off the lazy pass. They'll work it around the arc. Steals the pass. Looking for the foul. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Now they work it around the perimeter. This is a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. They still don't score. Kicked out from down low. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Launches the three. It's good. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk, lift their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. He tries a jump hook. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. On the inside. Puts it up looking for contact. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Unloads. The Blue Devils have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Daddy's on fire. They're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Entry pass in the paint. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. 
tries for two. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Puts it on the floor and up and under. And he misses the shot. Goes up for two. Well, Mr. Vitale, it looks like we're in for a great finish here. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. Picks off the pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He intercepts it. The power forward takes the feed. He shoots from downtown. He gets the bucket to fall. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Perfectly executed. The lead trickles down to four. Time is either your best friend or your worst enemy at this point, Brad. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. With the block. The ball goes out of bounds. The Blue Devils' mental effort has deteriorated. Hey, if I was on a team, I would be frustrated as well. The team's performance is nothing to be proud of at this moment. We've got ourselves a dandy here, folks. The lead has been trimmed to four. Takes the pass in the paint. For the deuce. For two. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Tries for two. And he scores despite the hack. Timeout. They want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team. Aaron? Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference. Guys? All right, Aaron. We're going to watch that the rest of the game. There might be a change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. The small forward handles the pass. And now they'll bring it up. He lets it go. He nails the bucket. Pressure on the ball. Hit on the ball. Looking for a good shot. The power forward receives the pass. Look at the student section, Dick. Cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They're rocking right now. My goodness. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. He'll go to the line. He makes the front end of the one and one. Oh, 
Second one, good. They need points on this possession, baby. They might try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. It's a four-point game. This one could go either way. Don't give up your seat. Follow them early and give your team a chance. And yet another foul. He goes to the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. Nick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Second one is good. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Nick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. To the action now to half court. Let's see what they set up, Dick. Great defense. And the clock stopped with a foul. He steps up to the line. He makes the front end of the one and one. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Missed it. Timeout. The second slowly ticking away here, Dick. Hey, they've got to trim this lead if they want to have a chance to win this thing. Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. He looks for the bomb. Off the mark with a shot. Duke find themselves on the short end of a close battle. This is the type of game that the coaching staff will be studying for weeks to come. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.